Okay, we'll go ahead and start. Thank you all for coming. I know a lot of you, but not everybody, so I will say my name is Nicole Garzino. I'm executive director here at the Center for Photographic Art, and it's such a beautiful day, so I'm glad you all could come over here and spend the afternoon with us. I just have some few brief announcements and thank yous to do, and then I'm going to turn it over to Jane Olin, who really led this up, and then she'll introduce Linda. So, uh, first of all, I wanted to, um, before I get into thank yous, let you know that CPA is, is um, constantly adding to our calendar of events, and we have so many things going on that I don't want to take up the time to announce them all here, but I will say a, a few things quickly and point out that once you get up into our gallery for the reception, there is a nice flyer we've made that says all of the different exhibition-related events we have, <coughs> the, the classes, the workshops, the other lectures that we have coming up. But I'll just mention a few briefly because they're coming up right away. First of all, I want to, uh, if you haven't seen the exhibit, you'll get to see it later. Um, but on June 14th, we have a panel on collecting, and uh, Denise, um, Bethel will be here from Sotheby's, and Richard Gadd from the Weston Gallery will lead a panel on, on collecting, how to collect, what's important to collectors, um, why they collect. So please come back for that, and they'll also have a reception for that. And again, that's on our exhibit postcard, which you're free to take. We also have some workshops coming up. Digital image transfer with Marty Springer is next weekend. And then in June, Martha Casanave will be teaching a portraiture workshop, so I suggest everyone sign up for that. That's going to be great. And then we have some fall workshops, one on the Zen and Art of Photography, and Night Photography in Big Sur uh, with Harold Davis. So we have tons going on. And this lecture series today is our kickoff, our panel, rather, uh, series uh, that we have this year. So this is the first. Then in September, we have two. Early September, we have the history of photography on the Monterey Peninsula. And then later in September, we'll have one on portraiture, portra portraits of people that are sometimes disenfranchised, including the aged, refugees, and the homeless. And we have three different photographers who work with those different types of groups presented in that as well. So pick up one of these flyers or, of course, sign up for our e-newsletter because that's where you'll find out everything all the time. So I'd like to jump in with thanks. Uh, for making this happen. All of you who know who you are here in this room, it took a lot of people to put this together. As Center for Photographic Art, of course, is a nonprofit, so we rely heavily on our volunteers and our board members to create this huge calendar of events we have here. But I want to give some special thanks because this exhibit was sponsored by many of you. I want to thank our special sponsors for this lecture, Richard Cannon, Jane Olin, Honoreen, Robin Robinson, Robin Ward, and Susan Williams. So thank you to everybody there. And also, of course, I want to thank our board members and all of our members who join, because it's, it's all of their support that makes, all of, uh, makes any of this possible at all. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do first is turn it over to Jane Olin in one moment. And Jane is a, 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 one of our members and an artist in her own right, who's been exhibited in fine art galleries, museums, universities across the country. And we asked Jane to help us with this particular program because of her knowledge and connection to, uh, well, obviously she's a female artist herself, but also she is a great uh, link to many other female artists and photographers in this community and across the country. And we really thought she would have a, a wonderful point of view about this. So I will turn it over to her so that she can introduce Linda. But I also wanted to say one brief thing, that especially over the last two years, it's always a challenge to include more and more female artists, but we're proud of, of the steps we're taking towards that. And, and we just did a, a little brief survey looking over Hedwig, our program coordinator. I want to thank her too back there in the room. She, she helps, she's a staff person and helps with these things. She and I looked at our, our, our last year, year and a half, and found that throughout our exhibits, of a, we have about six exhibits per year. We've exhibited six female artists, plus in our juried exhibit, our juried exhibit, of course, is a very large group exhibit. We had 13 in the gallery alone, and about 25 to 30 in the online gallery. Half of our workshops are this year, in 2014 alone, are taught by female artists. Martha, I just mentioned, Susan High Green taught earlier this year, and Marty Springer next weekend. That's three out of the five to six that we'll have this year. 
Um, our panel, obviously today it's all women, and the one coming up on history of photography will have female speakers, and the portraiture, two out of the three artists that are involved in that are female. Our board, we have three board members, and of course 100% of our staff. Yes. Uh, but this is something we're working to, to look at, so I, I thank you all for coming today to, to be part of that, the way we're looking at that. So, let me turn it over to Jane. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Nicole. I really appreciate the effort that uh, your organization has made to include more uh, women artists in the various uh, functions of the, of the um, institution. And um, especially the, um, the artists that are shown in the gallery. I too want to thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. It's going to be a fabulous afternoon and I hope that most of you can stay for the full afternoon. Uh, I have admired Linda Connor's work for years, probably decades, and it gives me great pleasure to introduce her to you. Linda Connor is an internationally renowned photographer and artist. Odyssey, her book of photographs that was published in 2008 uh, is a beautiful, sumptuous book. And I hope, and I just want to let you know that it's on Amazon if anybody has the inclination. Uh, she has traveled to secret, sacred sites throughout the world, discovering them and photographing them. And her visually radiant, sumptuous photographs are for us to enjoy. I want to give you a little, a little tiny peek into her extensive resume. She received uh, an undergraduate degree from the Rhode Island School of Design, moved then to Chicago, and got a master's degree at Illinois Tech. Uh, she received the Guggenheim Fellowship. She received uh, a grant, not one, but two grants from the National Endowment for the Arts. She uh, co-founded Photo Alliance, an organization in uh, San Francisco that supports uh, emerging photographers and student photographers with uh, seminars and lectures and portfolio reviews. And she has been a, a long time supporter of the Center for Photographic Art. I recall one of her images, of her many iconic images. Uh, the recollection I have is a very primitive room with, with a dirt floor, and maybe the walls were dirt as well, I don't know, but it's, it's taken in a sacred, sacred site. And there's one window, and through that window is radiant, beautiful light. And, and Linda Connor is that radiant light. Please welcome Linda Connor. And as I drove into the parking lot this morning, I, I remember the, probably the first photographic thing I did when I moved out from Chicago was to come down to the center here, which was the Friends of Photography at that time. And I took a workshop. Ted, do you remember, was it 68 or 69? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I told you I didn't need it. I think it was 68. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to forget that there. Yeah, so, and then I served for a while as an artist member of the Friends Board and was part of that when they transitioned up to San Francisco. And it was when they finally folded 
um, that there was this huge hole in the San Francisco photographic community. And um, so I filled it a little bit with Photo Alliance, which I hope you'll become aware of. And we have a, a print, a uh, collective print program as part of that that helps support us. And um, so anyway, I'm going to bounce around uh, through my work and through some ideas that I hope will uh, get us riled up a little bit um, for today's discussion. I'm going to start with uh, the sequence of photographs that are in the book that Jane mentioned, Odyssey, which is uh, 35 years worth of work. Um, sort of culminated, you know, somehow our other books are like, you know, the Holy Grail type thing that we really love to do. And it, um, so the work, even though it covers many different places and a long period of time, sort of the essence of it, I think, um, holds it together. And it's the relationship of the sacred to the natural world, is the way I would sort of phrase it. And in that work, there's also um, work from a project I did while visiting the Lick Observatory. I sort of weaseled my way into being a, an artist in residence there, though they don't have artists in residence, <laughs> and was able to make printing out paper prints from their glass plate historical negatives. So if you see pictures of deep heavens and beautiful things, if the stars are holding still, it's theirs. <laughs> if they're moving through the sky, kind of long exposure things, they're mine. All the work in Odyssey was done with an eight by 10 inch view camera. My knees have given out since then. I'm now working with a four by five. So, and I'll show you some more recent work when we get through with this. And I'm gonna play this with some music just because it's nicer. And it takes about 16 minutes or something like that. And then we'll, I'm happy to answer questions at the end and um, we'll go through some, some, a few other little things. So, 